Stanja Belisco here. I'm going to show you something that uh, my new Windows 8.1 program features, which uh, previous versions of Windows have not. It's the standard Windows calculator, <clears throat> but it's much larger uh, physically on the screen than the uh, regular calendar is. So it's great for making a video to demonstrate certain functions, and in particular, all you need to do is swipe from, this, swipe from the right side, do search, hit calculator, and you'll get two different ones. You'll get the old-fashioned or the old uh, version, which is small on the screen, and then you'll get this version. Now this calculator right here, um, I had a reader of one of my books ask me to uh, Please clarify, if uh, there's ever a future edition of the book, how to find anti-logarithms. I never really defined what exactly an anti-logarithm was or how to get it with a calculator. Well, if you want to find the log of a number, the base 10 logarithm, that's this key right here. LN stands for natural logarithm. That's the base E logarithm. Now, there's various ways in which you can go about uh, uh, finding this. And one of them is to use uh, uh, these keys up here. And this is probably the best way. This is the anti-log. 10 to the xth power is the base 10 anti-logarithm of x. e to the x. Here, x is the base e anti-logarithm of x. So uh, when you hit x here, uh, you get uh, the base e logarithm of x. So let's just try that. Now, it, the logarithm of, let's say, 10,000, the logarithm of that in the base 10 is 4, because there is a 1 and then four zeros afterwards. But now suppose that you want to find the anti-logarithm in base 10 of 4. Well, that's 10 to the 4th. That's the number you started with. Uh, it, the anti-logarithm is the inverse logarithm. It simply undoes what the logarithm does. Now, again, let's suppose that we want to find the natural logarithm of 10,000. That's the base E logarithm. Well, we get a... We get an irrational number, apparently, but it sure does show enough digits, doesn't it? If that isn't enough to satisfy you, then I don't know, dude, or ma or babe, <laughs> you've got a problem. I, I, uh, but, but anyway, this is the uh, base E logarithm of, ten, of 10,000. So what's the base E anti-logarithm of this thing? 10,000. It, it works just like that. The anti-logarithm, also known as the exponential function, uh, is simply the, it undoes what the logarithm does. And here's how to find it on this brand new, handy dandy, beautiful, huge, easy to see uh, Windows calculator. Probably made for tablet devices. That's why these keys appear so big here but I appreciate that when it comes to making a high definition video because if you're looking at this on say an iPhone or something where the display is really small you're going to be able to see it without a whole lot of trouble so that in a um, I'm not going to say in a nutshell but in an anti-logarithm shell is the way to go when you want to do this kind of thing. There's my start screen. Isn't that nice? I'm not real fond of the color orange, but uh, it sure is colorful. And there is a view looking towards the southeast from the Long Wave Ranch near Cody, Wyoming, where I have some tenants who are very happy to rent that 2.2 acres with a trailer on it. I call it the ranch the long wave ranch because I was someday hoping to do long wave radio experiments here by flying long wires with a kite 
as the northwesterly wind blows that kite out towards the southeast. Should the kite happen to fall, it has nobody to hurt. <laughs> It'll just get tangled up in a bunch of brush. Stan Jubilisco, well, and its anti-logarithm will also get tangled up in a bunch of brush. Stan Jubilisco, proprietor and operator, by the way, of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations, that's where this uh, whole enthusiasm for antennas comes from, saying so long for now, 73 in ham radio jargon, that means best regards.